I'm Emma, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're making the perfect party snack. It's a whipped ricotta full of delicious herbs, lemon zest, and olive oil. It takes a second to whip up, so let's go ahead and get started. To begin, preheat your oven to 425. Spread two tablespoons of walnut pieces on a baking tray and toast for several minutes or until fragrant. Set these aside till you're ready to serve. Line the same baking tray with tin foil and add the tomatoes. Keep them on the vine if you can. Drizzle with olive oil and a sprinkle of salt and pepper. Roast the tomatoes for 20 minutes or until bursting and juicy. While the tomatoes roast, whip the ricotta. Add 16 ounces of whole milk ricotta to the bowl of a stand mixer and whip for three minutes. Do not waste your time with low-fat ricotta, it's not worth it. As the ricotta whips, finely chop one tablespoon of thyme and a quarter cup of parsley. After the ricotta is finished whipping, divide it into two bowls. Into one bowl, fold together the zest of one lemon and two tablespoons of olive oil. Into the other bowl, fold in the chopped herbs. Don't forget to add a little bit of salt and pepper. The tomatoes look absolutely perfect. Set them aside to cool for a few minutes before assembling. While the tomatoes cool, slice the baguette on the diagonal, creating little toasty rounds. And then heat some olive oil in a cast iron skillet and add the bread, toasting for four minutes on the first side. Flip and cook an additional four minutes on the second side. Serve, swirl together the two ricottas, top with the roasted tomatoes and a sprinkle of toasted nuts. Finish with a drizzle of olive oil and of course, flaky salt. And voila, whipped ricotta with roasted tomatoes. All right, let's take a taste. Grab this one. <laughs> that was definitely a mouthful. 
um, but so delicious. The bread is so crispy and you get those nice charred bits which add a lot of flavor. And the herbs and lemon zest add such a fresh flavor. Also, the roasted tomatoes are so sweet. This is such a delicious and incredibly easy party snack. You're definitely gonna wanna make this. I've linked the recipe below, but make sure that you like and subscribe for a new video every Sunday. I'll see you in the next one.